You ever have one of those days where you got so much stuff to do and you're just trying to figure out what's next on the list? I went yesterday and picked up my new articulating attachment for my combi. Remember I told you guys before I was getting all the attachments for my combi and I sold my designated pole pruner to Ryan so that I could just go and buy this and have it for my combi. Got packages here from Richie Plemons I have to go through, I haven't done yet. Um, look at the crap, there's just tripods for cameras, mower, aerator, seat down there. Some project my eight year old is building out here. I bought a little electric uh, pressure washer. We'll talk about that on another day and I'll tell you why I did it. Um, and then all these racks. Today my plan is to put one of the sets of trimmer racks and two of these backpack blower racks inside the enclosed trailer. But before I do that, I have to hook it up to the truck. A little bit smoky in here. It's cold outside this morning. It's supposed to go up like 60 today, but it's like 30 right now with the choke on. Whew. Smoked them right up. Anyway, so you guys saw in the setup video and all my videos in the past, this is how I have everything. All these Home Depot hooks. So I know the trimmer racks are going right here. So the trimmer racks will be on this wall and I'm not positive yet what I'm gonna do, but I think I wanna take the two backpack blower racks and put one right here about mid height and the other one right here about mid height. And the two backpacks will hang right there. I think that's my plan. I may change my mind, but as of right now, that's my plan. So, and I'm not sure what I'll do with these yet. I think I might get a green touch rack to um, put this on and it'll go maybe in here somewhere or down because them trimmer racks ain't gonna take up this whole wall. They're going to take up a portion of it, but that's how I'm going to uh, put those on, I believe. So, I'm trying to get this stuff ready in the morning because it turns out I had a, toward the end of last year, I had an alignment problem at the front of the dually. And the result is this. Look at this tire. From here out, it's bald. That baby's smooth. The other tire's fine over there. So um, I have an appointment at one o'clock today to go get two brand new front tires put on. Same kind, I run BF Goodrich, commercial. Uh, they're 225, 75, 16s, E-rated Temply tires. So I gotta go get that fixed today at one o'clock. And I'm gonna see if I can get these racks done before I gotta go do that. with actually what seems to be very good instructions. Now you guys know that over all the products I've put together over the years, uh, we've been through this and I open up packages and I get mad and I crinkle them up and throw them away because instructions are horrible. These are actually very detailed and it looks pretty simple. Um, what I did, they all come with these carriage bolts that look like that. And then the nuts, lock nuts that go on the other side. These lock nuts are do 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 five eighths, and then they come with these self-tapping screws that are eleven thirty seconds. Fits nice and tight right in there. So these screws are for the mounting. But we're gonna go through this step by step, and I hope this isn't too long. Because we're gonna try to do the best that we can here so that you guys can have uh, you know 
you guys can have everything you need. They came, they come with three keys, actually four keys, four keys for this rack. So I'm gonna have four keys for this one. I'll have four spares for that one. I'll probably have four for these. So that's a whole lot of keys, but this mat here goes down in the bottom there and it has self-adhesive, like double-sided tape. But um, I'm, I'm here, I can pull this off and I can go ahead and just put it on there. It's not gonna matter. I'm gonna save it for the end anyway. It says it's step one, but on the, enclo or on the open trailer, I'm gonna wait because there's all these holes for different mounting positions, depending on where your rails are and how you're gonna mount it. But for inside the trailer here, it's gonna mount, the screws are gonna go through the back there. Uh, to mount it to the wall so it really doesn't matter actually to be honest with you I think they'll probably go through this plate oh they will they'll go through those holes there and those there you can see they're kind of recessed back further so that's where they'll go through to mount it to the wall but for the uh, for the open like I said I'll put this pad on last because I'm gonna need to know like where my holes are to mount it on the uh, open trailer but what we will do now is, according to this, according to this, you're supposed to put this back plate on first and it slides over top, like on the back side there. And it, the bolts will bolt right through there. So, we need to get our bolts, and I'm thinking that the position of this, up or down, higher or lower, is going to depend on the size blower you're putting in here. Now, if I'm doing the 600, then it'll be fine if it's down a little lower, but if I'm doing my 8010, which is a lot bigger, I'm going to want this up higher. So, I should probably figure that out before I even get started, because... Like I said, sitting on the flat trailer, I can always undo these bolts and move this thing up and down. But in here, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get to them bolts without unmounting it from the actual wall. right there I'll set this one up for that blower the other one I'm gonna set up for my 600 which should be pretty darn similar to my um, my 600 my 700 would be pretty similar so I'm setting this one up for this blower so that it'll always sit in there and then we will uh, we'll go from there but I think that's gonna work out pretty well um, now I just need to take some of these bolts and I'm going to feed a couple through here to give me a reference point of where I can start these. That'll work right there. And I'm going to get a nut started on the back of that one. Actually, one, two, three, four. It'll be the fifth hole up. So I'm getting this thing out of the way. So that, you know what? That's stuck down in there like that. That could be a problem on that one. So, this is going to have to be in the fifth hole up. One, two, three, four, five. I'll set that like that. I'll we'll start that nut on there so it don't fall out while I get one in the other side here. One, two, three, four. Five. Like I said, they're carriage bolts, so they lock right in there. And then I will get one of these nuts started on the other side of this one. Now that that'll stay there for the most part. I'll take the other two that it came with, put these in the top ones. So 
this really isn't that hard. A little finagling back and forth and trying to hold it steady, but other than that, it's really not that hard of a deal. So, now, put those around like that. are all nice and snug that's on there like that that's up pretty high but I imagine it's only gonna be up that high like that because of that blower now with the other ones it'll definitely be lower like Ryan how he has his setup the one he bought last year was definitely down lower so now that we have that piece on there let's see here pretty much that's all there is to it it's uh it's ready to be mounted to the wall um you have this piece here that holds the tube and you can screw it right to the wall or you can attach it to this i believe i'm not really sure where it shows it i've seen guys that had their setups in their trailers where they attached it right to the rack itself um i'm going to attach them to the wall i just haven't figured out where yet so for now i believe that is all we need to do and I'm going to uh, figure out exactly how, where I want this thing attached on the wall, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we're going to get to that part next. Oh, you know what? This one comes out further than that one. I might have screwed this up. Okay, so check this out. I screwed up, and you guys know me. I'm not just going to, uh, I could just edit all that out and start over, but I'm not going to because I want to show you the mistakes that you can make if you put this together. Now, this piece here, I set it up when I put it on this blower to go in between there, right on the other side of this handle like it does for, like I'm used to for my steel blowers. Um, but I noticed because this curved out right here, it kind of got stuck in there and kept me from swinging this out and I thought that would be a problem. This one here comes out a lot further. It's the other one it gives you, so it would technically be out like that. So, this one will work better. That's the problem. I need to have this one on there. So, this might actually drop down lower once I put this on. So I'm gonna change this piece out. We're gonna put the blower back in there and we're gonna find out if I have to drop that lower. And all you do to change this out is there's two set screws in there. They give you the Allen key with it. So you just loosen it up. Loosen these set screws up. And I'm guessing that pin will slide right out of there. We'll find out here in a second. I'm not really sure. Oh, it does just lift out. Okay. They're definitely in there pretty good. They don't come out. They're not just going to fall out if you ever have that issue. If you ever lose one of them set screws, which I'm going to see how you would, but if you do. Alright, so take that piece out. We will put this one in there. Get this thing set up a little more sturdy here. So quit flopping all over the place. Now this one will go in there. Push one of these pins. I guess it's a good idea that I screwed this up because now I can show you guys how you change these out. Silver lining to everything, right? Put that in there. Take these set screws. The camera's on. <laughs> so I dropped one of these set screws. They give you a spare one, so that's definitely a good thing. Because uh, I'm sure I'll find the other ones laying on the floor here somewhere, but they uh, they give you a spare one. So get these set screws screwed back in here. Don't touch that, please. Okay, now don't kick any of this stuff. Okay, so now we'll put this blower back on here and I'll see how that's going to line up, but I may have to definitely move all that stuff now. Um, Richard, I'm making a... Actually, that's blur. perfect now. It locks right on there. It'll swing out so, so I can leave it up that high right where it's at. 
Okay, it's good. No, I say hi since you keep moving my camera around anyway. Uh, but that's going to work out perfect. So I don't have to move that back up or down now. I can leave it right where it's at and that'll fold right around and lock that blower in perfect. So that's going to work out well. Okay, I don't know if all enclosed trailers are like this, but I know mine is. In this wall, all the studs run straight up and down like they would in a house. On this wall here, they run horizontal. I have no idea why it's like that, but I ran that problem when I had shelves. If you guys remember way back when I first got this trailer, I built shelves in here. And so that was a big issue. But what I'm going to do is since on the back of these this is a seven of back there's three holes there and three there i'm not going to be able to hit two different studs but if i get three screws one in each one of them it'll be plenty strong enough to hold one of these backpack blowers so since the stud runs this way i'm going to put it here see i tried to go above it i'm going to put it here and i'm going to go one two three and get my three screws lined in So that's how they're gonna look, and that's how they're gonna go in there. I can still pull my standard right up, tuck it under there. If I have the Walker B, it still slides under there. The Walker MT, if I bring that, that'll just have to go on last instead of first. That's all, because the hopper will hit those. But this lets you see what it looks like with the bigger one that comes out further, so it holds the 8010, but I can also fit my 700 in there. And this is what it looks like with my 600. I put the mount up top there. Um, but with them up against the wall here they kind of stay there anyway so you really don't even need those i didn't put the one up here for this yet because it's not big enough to hold this tube for that echo um i did pull the extension off there so it's not as long i don't like it with that long extension on there except for when i'm doing leaves and the only time i really even use this one uh during the summer is when i blow off a couple of my commercials with huge parking lots i like to just have this big one on and ride on the stander um and drive around and i can blow the parking lot off a lot faster because there's so much more power than my 600 or my 700 but my 600 is my go-to i use that thing daily all summer long that's just my number one backpack blower um, but that is how they'll go on. So you get to see it with the bigger one like that. And I showed you when I screwed it up, how you got to change that out, um, to change the whole top piece. And then here's the one with the standard one that comes on it. Now my 700 will also fit in here. And my 700 will also fit in here. It's a little bit looser and you could probably finagle it if you, uh, if you had to, um, to get the 700 out with this piece on there, unless I dropped it down lower, but when I put the other two on the open trailer, they will both be set up like this. They will not be set up like that because I don't use my open trailer for leaves anyway, and I will almost never have this blower. So uh, having it in here is more of like a convenience thing. I may actually even for as little as I use this compared to that one, I may actually even switch this out, end up switching this out to the smaller one so that it's just like that one. And that way I can, uh, um, and that way I can just have the 700 and the 600 in here and then do the same thing. Um, I could bring this down a little bit lower, but you're still not going to get this blower out. Um, I could bring this down a little bit lower to make it even tighter in there. Uh, but I left it up a little bit higher cause the 700 fits in there better like that. Um, but again that may be an issue where i definitely have to bring that down just so it's a little bit tighter and i think it'll still body wise it's pretty much the same for the 700 um it's just a little bit bigger right here so like i said i think i can probably bring it down just the one more notch so if it's in tighter so that's the first wave there's too much to do to put it on one video would be forever long so that's the first wave the backpack blower racks are done for the enclosed trailer um the two backpack blower racks for the open trailer should be here tomorrow or the next day um those got shipped separately but um 
I have the trimmer rack inside for the open trailer. So what I still have for here is I have the trimmer rack that's going to go on this wall. And uh, I'm going to do that next. And that will be in tomorrow's video because I just, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to put it all together in one video. It's just way too long. Um, and I don't want to edit it and cut so much stuff out that you guys really can't see what I'm doing and to make it worth it. So that's the deal and i know you guys are still waiting on my story about why i switched to green touch and i will throw that in somewhere in one of these videos uh, between putting all this stuff together and mounting all of them somewhere in i will throw it in for you um, and i will tell you um, i'm definitely it's going to take a little bit for me to explain it so uh i don't want to add it in this i'll do it like a voiceover like a narration thing but we will go over that whole thing and uh, you guys will see so Till the next video, the next video will be the trimmer racks installed in this trailer. Thank you guys for watching. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, like I said yesterday, a huge percentage of my views do not come from su subscribers. I can't even talk today. So definitely consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.